Welcome to QAvalidation.com. So in our Selenium Java video series, today's topic is how we can handle the downloading a file from a web application by using Selenium. Okay. So we are using Java as a programming language. Okay. So in this video, we will see how we can download a file by specifying a particular folder so that you need not to worry about where exactly your files are downloading okay so in normal scenario if you are clicking on a uh, what you call on a download link so let's say in this particular uh, demo application let's say if i'm clicking on this download button so it will be downloading to my default download folder but let's say that in real time you might not want to download the particular file into a specified uh, into a default location you want to download that into a specified location so that you can later point of time identify that particular file okay so selenium provides different ways uh, to specify your download folder so that you can specify a particular location and then you can download that file into that location okay and we will see uh, two ways one is how to download the file in chrome browser and also we will see the same thing in the firefox browser as well so let's get started okay so uh, we have this selenium practice uh, project that we have been working okay so what i will do i will add a new package and let's say that download file okay download file and here right click on this and let's say that let's create a class and here let's say download file chrome and first let's see in chrome browser how we can handle that okay so i'll create a main method and inside that we will mention everything okay so let's create a main method public static void main okay and here let's mention system dot set property and keep the path so let me show you that so here is my driver details so let me put a get info and here i can copy paste that okay fine and under selenium fine okay and here we have chrome driver fine if if you are using mac you need not to mention the chrome driver.exe if you are using windows then only you need to mention chrome driver.exe okay now let's specify where exactly you want to download the file so what i will say download file path where uh, this is the specified folder where exactly we want to download our file so let's say that i want to download into the same folder only so that easily identify i can identify that fine okay so and the next thing is that so let me create a va variable web driver variable so let's say static web driver driver and so that i can use that to invoke the browser okay fine okay so before mentioning before invoking the browser i need to specify few things so one is that i need to specify where exactly i have to so this is the path but i have to what do you call specify this path inside the selenium so for i'm using chrome right so chrome uh, so selenium gives a an option that is called as a chrome options so we will use the chrome options to specify this particular path so what i will do for that i'll create a hash map and here i will mention all those required options and then i will fit it into the uh, chrome options fine so it will be a key value pair only okay so string and object right so the key is my string and object is my value okay and here just give chrome preferences equal to new hash map okay fine okay sorry okay so let's java util fine now here what i will do so i'll copy this one okay and here i will add the key value pairs one by one so first key so what i will do i have already mentioned that one so what i will do let me copy this one and put it here 
okay so these are the copy value where you just need not to worry about the what you call you need not to buy here what exactly we need to mention there so i'll just explain that quickly okay here copy this one the variable name is different so paste it here okay fine and here this should be my download path so what I am doing here, so sometimes what happens, uh, some pop-ups might come where exactly you want to save the file. So here what I am doing, I am suppressing that file. Sometimes in Windows you will get that, uh, if you are in settings, if you see, sometimes the pop-ups will be enabled, like if you want to save as to some location. So here I am just hiding that pop-up and I am giving directly this download path so that it will not give you any browser, uh, any system window actually where exactly you need to specify because programmatically we are specifying that fine okay now we will use the chrome options as i have mentioned earlier so what i can do i can create a variable and here new chrome options fine okay so here let's import the required packages fine then options dot and I can do one thing here. I can mention is set experimental. So here set experimental options. Okay. And here what I can mention here. I can mention this preferences. This is my key. And I will put this hash map here. Fine. Okay. That's it. You need not to do anything else. Okay. So everything is set. Now the logic for the downloading is set here. Now what I will do the actual code that is a new Chrome driver. Fine. And let's import this one. And here you need to mention the options here that we have set before. Okay. Fine. Now driver dot get. Okay dot get and let's copy this url and that is here so click on here and inside this put this one and then we need to click on that particular what you call link that we need to download so let's inspect this one and here you can see the value is download actually here okay so i can do here one thing driver dot find element by dot xpath i can mention xpath fine and here what i can do directly i can set like this fine okay dot click so that directly it will download the file okay and here what i can do i can just say through dot slip just to see if it is downloading or not fine and then driver dot close fine close or quit anything so here let's throw this exception fine fine then so what we have done we have set a chrome uh, what you call hash map which will hold the key value pair and then that i am fitting into a chrome options as a preferences as a key and then i am putting that inside the driver new uh, driver equal to new chrome driver this is basically the constructor so here i am using the parameterized constructor where i am sending the options as a parameter to that constructor okay fine then so let's try to run this one so i need not to do any setup because into the poem.xml i have already set everything so what i can do right click on this and run as java application so let's see how it is working so here you can see it is opening my browser and then it will click on the download okay so here i can mention this one so let's see and run it okay let's see if it is still throwing the error or not okay so here you can see it clicked on the download and it downloaded and then closed now to see that let me go to this particular folder and see if it is downloaded or not see here you can see the date also today's date it is showing okay 
like this you can download so this is the way you can download by using chrome browser okay now let's see the second thing how we can download into the firefox browser and you can even use another thing so let's say that now here uh, manually i went to that folder and i have uh, what you call verified that whether the file got downloaded or not so what you can do once the file got downloaded uh, what you can do you can go and verify inside that folder so java has a very good what you call uh, uh, facility to to navigate to the folder structure and then check whether the required for file got downloaded or not okay so you can verify that as well automatically okay so now the next thing let me close okay let me create another class and let's keep this one is download sorry download firefox file firefox let's say like this file ff okay something i'm giving and here let's put public static void main find that okay so here for firefox also same thing we have firefox options so selenium provides uh, what do you call an option that is called firefox options to play with your browser so before firefox profile was there so now after i guess 3.10 um, onwards you cannot use the uh, firefox ops uh, firefox profile as uh, what you call to set your browser details you have to use the firefox options like we have used chrome options okay so let me quickly do one thing this much let me copy it so that we won't waste our time and here this should be gecko and here i have already gecko driver into that location so directly i can write like this fine okay and the download path is as usual same only what i will do i will delete this file so that next time we can verify if that file uh, again downloaded or not to that location fine okay so now sure. okay so now here what we will do we will use firefox options right so what i can say here firefox options equal to option equal to new so let me just uh, import the required package and here when i press control space i'll get this one now here options dot option dot what i can do here i can add few preferences i have again have few preferences here set i can use that and i will explain one by one so let me give this one options so that i need not to change anything after pasting here so let me show you that okay so now let me explain one by one okay so here you can see the browser download folder list this is set to two so this particular key in the browser preferences has three options one is zero one two so zero means it will save all the downloads okay and it will download into the desktop okay when i mention as two then what it will do it will not download into your default or into your desktop it will download to the specified folder actually now how exactly i will set the specified folder by using this key so this particular browser download folder list will look for this particular key and where exactly i'm mentioning this path there actually it will download that okay now here always ask so here another is there browser helper ops and always ask it means that it will not ask you while downloading it's the same thing like it will not give you a pop-up or a dialog windows dialog where it will ask you okay whether you want to download it because we want to download it so we are disabling that to force asking actually okay and here what i'm saying browser download manager so starting so when starting it means that while downloading there will be sometimes a uh, progress bar will be coming so it will show you till the end so even we don't want that one as well so we will hide it because we want to make the process automatically okay so background it should happen and here browser helper apps never ask save disk means uh, here i'm mentioning few types uh, like your zip file your xzip 
compressed or different file formats so whenever this kind of file so you will see sometimes like uh, firefox wants to download this but so those kind of dialogues also we don't want actually so that also we are minimizing never ask it means that we are minimizing that one okay now driver so here let me create a variable static web driver driver fine okay now here let me import the package now here driver equal to new firefox driver okay new firefox driver and in that i have to mention the options okay because as i told the profile is deprecated okay and here driver dot get and i can put that url so we have already done into the chrome right so i can just copy that one fine okay and here i can mention that one and uh, then i have to click on that download link so that it will download so this is same for chrome and firefox so to save time i have copy pasted this one fine okay and here throw this exception fine okay so everything is set now now let me run this particular code to see how it is happening so i have already deleted that particular file so that i can see it again when i execute for the firefox so here you can see let me just squeeze it a bit okay so it's done so let me go to that location and see if that file got downloaded or not so what i can do i can search it here and here you can see okay just now it uh, downloaded it fine we have deleted it right in the chrome browser so now you can see this one so like this you can download again the same thing if you want to verify that particular uh, file is downloaded or not you can use the java's default uh, what do you call feature by using java you can just navigate into that particular folder and then because you know if you click on a button what kind of file you are downloading so that you can keep that file name into a string and then you can navigate to the folder and then that particular file is present or not you can just compare this both even you can see if that particular uh, what do you call what time it got downloaded so that you can get the latest file from there okay so uh, there are different ways to verify so i felt this is one of the simplest way to download uh, what do you call to check whether the file is downloaded or not okay so you can try that on your own if not then we can set up another video for that okay so that's all the way we can download the files uh, in selenium from firefox or in chrome browser so hope that helps so stay tuned and uh, do subscribe to our youtube channel thank you